Welcome to Professor Luwadea's educational video channel. In this episode, we will be showing you a mistake that a lot of people using SPSS are making without realizing it. In fact, a lot of people deliberately go out of their way to commit it. <laughs> Here is an example right from the methodology section of an article caught in the act. Yet another example of the same mistake. Even universities are not above making the mistake. So what's this mistake? The mistake is thinking that SPSS means statistical package for the social sciences. Well, it used to be known by that name when it was invented back in 1968. But by the 80s, it has gained widespread use beyond the social sciences into other branches of the academia as well as the industries. So, like many an adult, SPSS has found the name it liked as a teenager no longer acceptable as an adult. <laughs> Recognizing that the software has grown beyond the social sciences, the company made several attempts to introduce new phrases that would fit the SPSS abbreviation, but they were mostly unsuccessful. For example, in the early 2000s, the phrase statistical packages and software services was introduced, but this was eventually dropped. SPSS became, in essence, the name and not an abbreviation for anything. Things became even more complicated when IBM bought SPSS in 2009. It changed the name to PASW Statistics because of some trademark disputes over the use of the name SPSS. But this was resolved by 2011 and SPSS was restored as the name. By 2012, order was restored to the statistical world and the SPSS name was given back to IBM. IBM changed the name finally to IBM SPSS Statistics. So, the name has become an acronym. There is no need to write out the full meaning because SPSS is just SPSS. Now, it's just an acronym like BP, 3M, BMW, LG, and IBM itself. The letters no longer stand for anything. SPSS is the name. It's not short for anything. And in case you want to cite IBM SPSS statistics, this is how to cite IBM SPSS statistics from version 19 onward. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just glad I have stopped you from making that silly mistake in your next paper. I am Oluwadi Akendi, a professor of surgery at the Ekiti State University at Ekiti. I have been teaching SPSS in healthcare research since 2004, both in Nigeria and in South Africa. I'm also the hopeful of getting to know SPSS, the best-selling book on SPSS in Nigeria. Apart from SPSS, the book also has a supplementary chapter on how to conduct online literature search, as well as one chapter each on Zotero and EndNote reference managers. Finally, I'm also the CEO of POSC Educational Consult, which specializes in organizing training, statistical software, and health education. Please visit my website for copies of my lectures and other information. Just scan the QR code with your phone camera. Check it out for more information on my book. The website also contains many downloadable PDF copies of my lectures in anatomy and orthopedics. Finally, you'll come across assorted information on medical practice in Nigeria on the website. For more videos on SPSS statistics anatomy, orthopedics and traumatology, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by scanning the QR code with your phone camera. Thank you for your time and attention. As they say in my language, Eshim. <laughs>